Greetings! This is Sarah Canary, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel. Today, we're going to explore cPanel's Application Manager interface. This interface allows you to register, manage, and remove applications that you write. Before we get started, it's good to know, if you don't see this interface when you log in to cPanel, or if you don't see certain parts of it, your hosting provider probably needs to set some things up for you. So, contact them first if you have issues, and they can check our documentation for the exact WHM settings they'll need. This feature uses the Fusion Passenger application server. Fusion Passenger functions as a process manager and a reverse proxy, providing operations tools to its users. This allows you to quickly launch and easily maintain your applications. So, let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. And here we are in the cPanel Home interface. Let's navigate down to the Software section and click Application Manager. The Application Manager interface will appear. The first table that you see here displays all of your account's registered applications. I don't have any yet, so I'm going to create one. First, click Register Application. A new interface will appear. Enter a name for the application in the Application Name text box. Let's call this one My Application. Next, from the Deployment Domain menu, select the main domain or subdomain for the application. I only have one here, so I'm going to select my main domain. Enter the application's URL in the Base Application URL text box. This is the URL that you will enter in a web browser to access the application. Let's enter cisco.tld slash my underscore app. Here in the Application Path text box, enter the application's path relative to your home directory. Let's enter services slash my underscore app. Next, Select the environment to run the application. Your application can run in a development environment or a production environment. Select development if you're still actively working on your code. Select production if you're done developing your application and are ready to deploy it. Now we're ready to add some environment variables. These are variable values that you can add to the system to help your application run. They aren't required, but they can be pretty useful. First, click Add Variable here. A new row of text boxes will appear. Variable names can only have 256 characters or less and can only use letters, numbers, underscores, and dashes. Enter a variable name here in the Variable Name text box. Next, enter a value for the environment variable in the Value text box. Environment variable values can only contain 1024 or fewer ASCII printable characters. And finally, click Save. Now you can finish registering your application by clicking Deploy. You will see a success message, and the system will return you to the Application Manager interface. In the table right here, you can see our new application and some information about it. First, the name in the Name column. The Domain column displays the domain that you deployed the application to. The Path column is the location of your application within your home directory. Under Status, you can toggle an application between Enabled and Disabled. And in the Actions column, you can click Edit to modify your application, or you can click Unregister to unregister your application. You might also see a third action, Ensure Dependencies, but that depends on your applications and your setup, so that's for another video. I want to make some quick changes, so let's click Edit. A new interface will appear. So, if I want to change the name of my application to My cPanel Hosted Application, I just update that value here in the Application Name text box. When you edit your application, you can update any of these settings, which are the same as the settings when we first registered the application. After you make your changes, click Deploy. 
a success message will appear and you will see the table of applications again. If you don't want your application to show up here anymore, you can unregister it. Unregistering your application will remove it from this table and delete the cPanel generated configuration file for it. Don't worry though, we won't delete your source code. You'll have to do that one yourself if you don't want it anymore. To unregister an application, just find it in the table and click Unregister. A confirmation message will appear. Then, click Unregister to remove the application. A success message will appear. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, visit us on the web at cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching and happy automating.